Okay, so we're gonna make dinner tonight. And I thought maybe you guys would like to know how to make these sandwiches that I made last week. We had ordered them from one of the pizzerias in town and I got it and I thought it was delicious, but it had a breaded chicken cutlet and then it had a lot of garlic in it and Andy can't eat that. So I have adapted this so that he can eat it and it's delicious. It is my bro broccoli rob and provolone sandwich. It's really simple, it has about four ingredients and I'm gonna show you how to make it now. to get the Bell and Evans chicken breast, thinly sliced organic chicken breasts. They're actually really, really good. I don't know the half they have them in all grocery stores, um, but we find that they're really, really good. So these are thinly sliced. If you do get fat chicken breasts, you are gonna have to fillet them because they will not cook the same. So let's get these cooking. Okay, we're gonna use two pans for this and my toaster oven, which you can actually use a big oven or you can melt it in the microwave, however you want. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna use my big brazier here to make the chicken. Now, if you want to bake the chicken, you can. You just need a thin chicken breast that's cooked through. That's it. And then this I'm gonna use to make the broccoli rabe. Um, broccoli rabe is not a difficult thing to make, but you do have to cook it through without burning it. So creating an environment that's more steam and less heat works really, really well. So in this, I will wash the broccoli rabe, put a little bit of oil in this on the bottom, heat it up a little bit. Then I throw the broccoli rabe in and I put the top on, I turn it all the way down. If you don't turn it all the way down, you will burn it and then it will taste like yucky. Let me show you. But before we do anything, we have to clean the broccoli rabe. Now broccoli rabe can be sandy. So what we're gonna do is, it usually comes in a bunch like this and it usually says Andy boy. And I usually cut it right above this, right here. I'm gonna cut it right here, and then I'm gonna chop it up. And it's just easier to, um, to eat when you chop it up. So, let me show you. chicken so pretty much the same thing we're gonna take our pan make it really hot a little bit of olive oil in it chicken right in wait till it sears on one side it will release from the pan when it's ready to be flipped flip it top on turn down the heat flip it top on turn down the heat okay <laughs> So while we're waiting for our chicken to cook and the broccoli rabe to soften up, let's prepare our bread. Come over here and see what I got. 
There's a really good bakery in the town near us called Calandra's. We get everything there. Um, so mom picked this up at the grocery store. Just a regular French or Italian baton. It would be fine. Um, you can use any kind of bread that you want. I like it a little bit sturdy, but not hard. Okay, so we're gonna cut this into sandwich size bites. Not bites, but you know what I mean. I'll show you. Okay, let's check on the broccoli rob. Ooh, nice steam, it's nice steam coming out of there. It should still be bright green, but totally cooked through, really tender. And what you can do is, when it gets to that point, just turn off the heat and let it steam. It'll just steam in that pot until you're ready for it. But since there's no heat, it will not burn. The chicken. When it starts to get that on the bottom, that's all the flavor. Okay, so you're gonna flip it into that and sop it all up. Flip it into it, turn off the heat because it's already cooked through and just let it sit in there. Okay, the bread is ready. It's time to assemble. Close them, eat them, enjoy them, and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Am I supposed to say these things? <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.